Today we're going to be taking a look at these, the new SpeedyB Vision 2 antennas. Now in today's video we're going to take a closer look at the antennas themselves, give you an overview of some of their specs and features, I'm going to bolt them on an aircraft, take them for a fly, and at the end I'm going to give you my thoughts on if you should consider getting yourself a set of these antennas or not. Now just to be clear, SpeedyB have sent me these antennas for free, however they have not had any input to my thoughts on these. They've not seen this video before it's been made, and my thoughts on these antennas that I will give you at the end are entirely my own. The fact that I've been sent them for free does not influence that. Anyway, let's get on with today's video and the first thing we're going to do is take a closer look at the antennas themselves. Okay, so taking a closer look at this V2 antenna set from Speedy B. When you open the box, the first thing you'll find is this little card on top which has links that takes you to the instructions as well as where you can download the app that works with the Speedy B products. Now, this set is their new version 2 right hand circular polarized 5.8 gig antenna set. Now the ones I've got here are the models that are fitted with the 90 degree MMCX connector but these antennas are available in three other versions. You can get them with SMA, UFL, straight MMCX or the 90 MMCX like I've got on here. So for instance depending on what setup you intend to use with them you can choose the connection that best suits your needs. So for instance if you were using them with the DJI Air units you would want to get this 90 degree for most setups but you could go for the straight MMCX as well but if you wanted to use it with something else such as the Vista or the Shark Bite system you could choose it with UFL or go for the standard SMA and go that way. Now depending on the connector type will depend on the weight of the antenna. So for instance the MMCX 90 degree ones here weigh 4.3 grams, the straight MMCX weigh just under that at 4.27, the UFL weighs 3.7 and the SMA antenna weighs 8.2 grams and there's slightly different lengths on the coax depending on which one you go for. The basics are the three smaller connections are roughly the same length so for instance this has an 88 millimeter height in total however the SMA one is down to 70 mil so there is some changes. Now looking at the top it actually has a width of about 20 mil across the top and it's made out of hard impact resistant plastic. You've then got it colored yellow, which makes it slightly easier to see. And the antenna itself is fitted with this nice flexible, but it isn't rigid coax. So it means they're going to actually move, but they're not going to stay where you leave them. So you will need to tag these down depending on what you intend to do with them. Now, just taking a closer look at them from the top, as I mentioned, they are made from this high strength PC and ABS material, which means they should hold up quite well on NOx. You've then got the coax that sticks out the bottom and then it goes down and terminates down to the MMCX at the bottom nicely with this nice heat shrink tube over there. And as I've said, the length of the antenna cable on this one is about 88 millimeters in total. Now this pair of antennas is rated for a frequency range of 5.5 to 6 gigahertz and they have a gain of 2.8 dBi and the SWR is 1.1 at 5 gigahertz exactly. Now these are right hand circular polarized antennas. So if you are going to use these with the DJI system, you do need to take that into account because on the V1 goggles for instance the antennas are left hand circular polarized as standard and if you're using them with the V2 goggles those antennas are actually linear so you could use these with the V2s without really any problems at all but if you are going to use them with the V1s you're going to have to need to make sure that you are using the correct polarization or you are going to run into some additional losses. So over the last couple of weeks, I have been flying with these antennas predominantly on the shark bite system. Now, as I mentioned at the end of this video, the reason for that is that these antennas are right hand circular polarized as is shark bite out the door. However, you can use these antennas with any system, but do take into account if you're going to use them with DJI, as I have already mentioned, you are talking right hand circular polarized versus left. Now, I'm not going to go into exact numbers, distances and ranges, but as you can see, I've just gone for a bit of a flight with the new Scout HDs on Sharkbite, and in my tests, the antennas perform absolutely fine. In real world, no issues at all, and they've been giving me decent range on the Sharkbite system overall. So if you are interested in getting an antenna for that, or your analog FPV, or you want to move your DJI system over to 
uh, right hand circular polarized they're going to be well worth a look okay so to give you some thoughts on these antennas now i'm not going to give you out and out range results and out and out comparison between other antennas because that's not the kind of stuff i do on this channel especially with range testing and things like that what i will say is this i've been using these antennas for the last couple of weeks on the shark bite system and i can say they give good performance i've had no problems with them at all and they really are quite a nice match for the shark bite system because they are right hand circular polarized however they are not dedicated to being used with digital and if you wanted to use them with analog you're going to get good results as well now if you did want to use them with dji do remember that these are right hand circular polarized and the dji version one goggle antennas are left hand circular polarized if you're going to use them with the v2s though the stock antennas on them are linear do take into account that there is a loss if using circular polarized antennas with linear antennas but that's in theory minus 3 db loss but the reality is different because of the way dji works it's got mimu technology so if you are interested in using them you should be okay on the v2s just on the v1s there is going to be a mismatch now if you're interested in getting yourself a set i will put a link to them in the description of this website as i did say at the start of this video i want to thank speedy b for sending me these over to me really in my tests absolutely fine well worth a look now in the next couple of weeks i'm also going to be talking about this frame from speedy b as well well that they've sent me and i'm going to be doing a five inch dji build with this so if you're interested in seeing that please do consider hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well that way you'll get an update when that video comes out now finally i just want to say if you have found this video interesting and you'd like to support the channel there are links to buy me a coffee as well as patreon in the description of this video too if you'd like to join me on my discord server there is a link to that in the description too it is free to join for the main areas there is a dedicated area for patreons but for the majority of the areas it is currently open so if you fancy getting in touch or you just want to see some of the nonsense on a daily basis there's a link to that in the description it is quite new and it's been ticking along very very low level but we're going to try and build it up a little bit now as well so Again, if you're interested in joining us, please do check out that link. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. As I said, please do subscribe and I will speak to you guys again soon.